Welcome to yet another Minute Microscopy. I'm Eric Rosenblatt, but then you'll probably already know that. So at the time of this recording, Memorial Day is just around the corner. Well, by the time you see this, it'll probably have just passed. What happened to then? We passed then. When? Just now. Wear it now, now. Go back to then. When? Now. Now? Now. I can't. Why? We missed it. When? Just now. So I guess I'd like to share my thoughts on Memorial Day. For, for many in the U.S., this is a time of remembering and honoring those who have died in military service. And, you know, I think that's certainly a good thing to do. Those people made the ultimate sacrifice for the U.S. and often people in other nations. But I would suggest a twist. Perhaps while remembering those who have been lost, we should also be protesting the country and government that sent those soldiers to their deaths. State officials and those in the upper echelons of the military should be reminded of the faces and names of those who perished under their command. See, many wars and military actions don't have a squeaky clean, noble and altruistic motivation. And that is very evident when you pay attention to the places and engagements the country gets itself involved in. Sometimes the truth comes out well after the fact, but people tend to forget or downplay its gravity. My government can't be the bad guy, right? <sighs> yes. Yes, it is. As far as I see it, World War II and Kuwait would probably be the only two mostly justifiable conflicts the U.S. has joined in the last hundred years. Everything else is morally iffy, and some are downright malevolent. Now, I'm not saying the military personnel who served in these wars are bad people. They're only acting on what they've been told, what they believe, uh, the facts they know. But those at the top who have access to the most information and who make the decisions, they should be held to account for willfully sending people to kill and die for self-serving reasons. Those people don't deserve our respect or admiration. They deserve our scorn and disdain. So on Memorial Day, we should attend events and visit monuments, but we should also hoist the Jolly Roger and throw some Molotovs. Well, maybe I meant the last one in jest, but some virtual Molotovs wouldn't hurt. Let's spit on and burn the effigies of all the self-proclaimed morally superior and just leaders who senselessly got soldiers and civilians killed. <laughs>